Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. I got a CCNA video practice exam for you here. Some good review material for you CCNP route and T-shoot Bulldogs as well. Right now we've got pretty much a blank screen. We're looking at a Cisco router. We're going to use this router to answer some of the questions in today's video practice exam. So let's go ahead and call the questions up. And even if you think you know the answer to the question, stick around because I've got a little extra tip for you here as well for a question that's not on the board. Just give me first, what's the EIGRP term for the loop-free backup routes to a destination? Then give me the term for the loop-free best route to a destination. And then give me the default routing table code and the admin distance for routes redistributed into EIGRP. I'm going to hit you with a fourth question here related to these three when we look at the live equipment in just a moment. I want to thank you just right here for 2,720 students of you, almost 2,800 of you have joined my CCNA 2013 video boot camp. You can still get in for 44 bucks, so you definitely want to check this out with the coupon code BULLDOG60. And by the way, uh, that's not $44 a month. That's not $44 for a couple of weeks. That's not $44 for a year. That's $44 for permanent access, and you can download every single video in the course. So check that out. Now, let's look at these EIGRP terms. We got to have these two straight. It's EIGRP fundamentals. The loop-free best route to a destination is what I asked you number two. That's our successor route. The loop-free backup routes to a destination are the feasible successors, and that's one reason why EIGRP is considered to even recover faster from a problem than OSPF, because the backup routes in EIGRP are actually calculated in advance of them actually being needed. Now, let me hit you with a quick bonus question here before we look at the live equipment. What command will show you both the successor and feasible successor routes at one time? You know that one? Because if you do show IP route or show IP route EIGRP, that's not going to do it. That's just going to show you the successor routes. What you want to do is look at the topology table with the show IP EIGRP topology command, and that will show you your feasible successors and your successors for all of your routes. Now let's take a look at this redistribution question because I've already performed that over on router 2. And when you redistribute a route into EIGRP, you're going to see two things. First off, you're going to see this DEX. Remember, D is the routing code for EIGRP because E was already taken when EIGRP came along, so they just went one letter backwards. D. If you see DEX, that means it's an EIGRP external route and it was learned via route redistribution. So the routing table code is DEX. The administrative distance is going to be 170. So that's all there is to it for today's questions. Thanks so much for watching, and thanks for making TBA part of your Cisco certification success story.